<laughs> All right, so you're brand new to Destiny 2 on PC. I'm gonna use this video to kind of teach you how to get used to PC, little tips and tricks you should know, and little settings that you need to turn on. So the first thing you're obviously gonna to wanna to do is log in by selecting your character. And then once you get to the title screen, go ahead and hit escape and go to open settings. Now the first thing I wanna go over is your mouse sensitivity. And be able to do sweeping snapshot 180s. Uh, I personally play on five. I know most people play between three and five. Uh, the next setting would be your ADS modifier. Um, this is pretty much to the sensitivity for when you're actually ADSing, which you can make uh, be slower, you can make it be faster. I personally don't like when my sensitivity changes. It kind of like messes me up, so I just leave that at 1.0. Um, but I do know some people that like to just like slow it down. They play on like 0.9 or 0.8. But I'm just going to leave that at 1.0. Vertical inversion and horizontal inversion. I don't know anyone that uses these, but I guess you could turn them on if you want to like try crossing your eyes or whatever. Totally up to you. Uh, aim smoothing, I keep off. Pretty much anything that has to do with like uh, aim smoothing or mouse acceleration, I like to turn those things off. All right, next we're gonna go over to key mapping. Now, this is where you have all your key binds. The PC gamers keyboards and mic. Um, I'm gonna show you my key binds. You can go ahead and copy them and then adjust it to your own personal style. Um, but some things to note is that things that I use often, like my nade or my melee, um, I'll put them next to my movement keys or on my mouse. Um, this just allows me to quickly access them while moving around. Um, you'll, you'll pretty much, as you start using uh, mouse and keyboard, you'll get used to it. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and copy my key binds and then adjust it to however you want. Um, I changed the vehicle ones right here quite a bit, um, just because what they had is the default didn't really feel like how it did on console. Uh, so I changed it up. So you definitely should probably copy these ones. And yeah, that's about it for my key binds. This is really all preference. So yeah, go ahead, uh, personalize it however you wish. Um, but this is just what I personally use. Um, next, we're gonna go over to video settings. The FPS, they want the frames. And that's all they're looking for. And this heavily depends on your, obviously your PC hardware. Um, the game should give you automatic settings depending on your hardware. Um, but I'll just tell you some of the stuff that I changed personally. Um, the first thing I did was I turned V-Sync and frame rate cap off. Um, this just allows me to have unlimited frames. Um, next thing I did was I uh, set my field of view to 105. So you might've heard the term FOV. This is pretty much just like how much you can see on your screen, uh, kind of like a fisheye. Um, so I capped this out so I could see the most at any given time, 105. It also gives the appearance like you're moving faster. Um, so I see a lot of people that only played console, they'll see PC gameplay and be like, how are you moving so fast? When I'm like actually moving just as fast as them, it just looks faster because of the field of view. So yeah, I go ahead and cap that out, 105. Most good players I talk to play between 90 to 105 and the vast majority of those just play on 105. Um, screen bounds, brightness this is totally preference. Um, in terms of graphic settings, the only things I really change is I turn anti-aliasing off and then I turn shadow quality to lowest. You can't actually turn it off. Um, I usually turn shadows either to the lowest setting or off if, if the game allows it, uh, pretty much because this doesn't really have an impact on how the game looks, um, but it gives you high FPS increase. So that's usually like the first thing I usually go after if I'm trying to get higher FPS is just go after uh, turning off shadows. The FPS, they want the frames. And that's all they're looking for. Um, another thing I did was I turned off motion blur. That way I don't just get, you know, like a, a blurry screen while I'm looking around. I just, uh, motion blur is usually just an instant off for me. Um, outside of that, uh, that's pretty much all that I would change. So let's go over to sound. Now sound, this is obviously just like volume levels and stuff. This is totally preference. You shouldn't need my help with this. Uh, gameplay, we're gonna go ahead and make reticle location. Make sure this is set to PC default. For whatever reason, uh, on console, the, the reticle at the center of the screen, that's actually not perfectly centered in the screen, uh, but PC default actually does perfectly center it. Why it's like that, I don't know, there's probably some science behind it. The approach we took was pretty straightforward. It was play it, see what sucks, and fix it. Uh, reticle color, uh, we're gonna set that to pink. For me, this is obviously all preference. You can set your reticle color to whatever you want. Pink just stands out to me. And when I'm streaming and stuff, it's, it picks up easier on the, the recording. So that is why I use pink. Um, all of these, uh, invitation notifications, helmet, this is all preference. Uh, you know, FPS display though, I would turn this on. The FPS, they want the frames. And that's all they're looking for. And you can see these numbers at the top right right here. Uh, it just actively shows you your FPS so that way you can monitor it while you're playing. Um, text chat, all this stuff, I recommend turning it actually on. Um, that way people, when you're playing on PC, they can, they can type to you. Um, whisper chat, I have it set to everyone so that if I'm at the tower or if someone runs into me in patrol, they can whisper me and like, say what's up or whatever. I like to have that on. Yeah, you, you get the occasional person talking trash, uh, but overall I think it's worth it just to be able to talk to everyone. 
Um, team chat, local chat, I would automatically opt into these. Make sure it's set to automatic to opt in. Um, Cause there's this weird thing where the game automatically opts you out by default. That way you're not like, I don't know. They're scared of people talking trash. Um, so yeah, just make sure that your settings look like this and you'll be good to go. Uh, we're going to go over to accessibility, HUD opacity. I just set this to low. This just allows you to look through your HUD, like your super, your nade when you're actually playing. Um, subtitles I have off, obviously that's a preference. I don't have any colorblind stuff. And yeah, that covers everything for settings. Oh, uh, that's really good. It's running really smoothly. The button layout's looking really good. Now that we've covered all of the settings, we can get into some details about Destiny 2 on PC, some of the differences between PC and console, and I'll give some tips for getting used to mouse and keyboard and playing on PC in general as well. Uh, now you could simply plug in a controller if you choose to. Uh, personally, I don't re recommend it since you'll be limiting yourself and won't be utilizing all the great things mouse and keyboard has to offer. Uh, but if you don't care about that and just want to chill back and shoot some aliens, then I guess be my guest. Uh, if you're planning on switching to mouse and keyboard, then make sure you invest in a good mouse and keyboard. That's pretty important. Uh, my mouse that I personally use is a Logitech G Pro Wireless. Uh, it's my favorite mouse on the market. It's great. I'll leave it in the description below. Uh, my keyboard, I use an Ann Pro 2 mechanical keyboard. Uh, keyboards, I, I don't think they matter as much as the mouse. I mean, most mechanical keyboards, they're all kind of the same. Um, next thing that you definitely need to invest in is getting a large mouse pad. Um, you, you actually do want it to be really big uh, because when you're using a mouse, you don't have aim assist like you do with a controller. Um, and so you want to play on a low sensitivity so you can be more precise with the lack of aim assist. And having a large mouse pad is really necessary for that. Uh, I don't know very many pro players that don't play on a really low uh, sensitivity with a really uh, big mouse pad. So yeah, make sure to do that. I'll leave some links in the description. Uh, for things that I personally like. Uh, so yeah, be sure to check that out. Now, every single mouse has its own program where you can customize certain settings. Uh, we're only gonna focus on the DPI setting for now. Uh, the DPI setting is pretty much just like your mouse's sensitivity. Uh, so you have your DPI setting, which is like the, the setting in the actual mouse. And then most games also have a sensitivity option on top of that. Um, and you gotta go to your uh, mouse's program in order to change that. Um, so yeah, you just look up whatever mouse it is, it's Logitech Razor or whatever, just like type in Razor mouse software if you don't have it. Um, be sure to set your DPI to either 400 or 800. Those are the, like the two standards. I personally use 800 DPI, and I find that to be a lot more common of people to use 800 DPI. Um, but again, it's preference, so I, I'm just giving you some recommendations. Um, as, in terms of getting used to mouse and keyboard, you might find yourself like getting frustrated at first because you can't aim as well as you think you can with a controller. Um, and I know plenty of people who just end up plugging in a controller because they're like, man, I, I suck with a mouse and keyboard. Um, but I do recommend if you actually want to get used to mouse and keyboard and utilize the, uh, the like uh, the, all the key binds and being able to have all the precision of a mouse, I highly recommend like just struggling through those growing pains and not like giving up and plugging in a controller. Um, you'll thank me later for it. Um, in terms of getting used to a mouse, just, you got to think about it like uh, it's, it's pretty much like air hockey, like you're using your arm for the movement, not so much your wrist. Um, and then in terms of getting used to a keyboard, uh, it's pretty easy. I mean, if you know how to type well, um, it, it'll be even easier for you to get used to it. Um, but if you don't know how to type well, there's like tons of free online like typing games. I would definitely recommend like getting good at typing. Um, next thing you need to know about Destiny 2 on PC is that it actually has a different sandbox when you use a mouse and keyboard. Um, so pretty much every weapon in the game has less recoil uh, since you don't have aim assist on a mouse. Uh, so they, they reduce the recoil values. On console, when a gun fires, it kicks. And you may not realize it, but you're constantly fighting that kick with the stick and you're pushing to try and keep that barrel down where you want it to aim. Well, on PC, that basically translates to picking up your mouse and, and chasing it, and it frankly felt terrible. So you have to like rethink about how you control everything. Uh, also, another really cool thing, and this is like a PC favorite feature, um, is that hand cannons that are 140, 150 don't have bloom like they do on console. And if you don't know what bloom is, to put it simply, it means you, you're aiming at your target, you pull the trigger, and for no apparent reason, your, your bullet missed. It's a really dumb mechanic. A lot of people don't like it. And you don't got to worry about it uh, when you use a mouse and keyboard on PC. So yeah, it opens up options like Ace of Spades, Spare Rations, Midnight Coup uh, that weren't really options on console because of the, uh, the issues with bloom. The approach we took was pretty straightforward. It was play it see what sucks, and fix it. Uh, another really nice thing is being able to access your inventory like pretty much instantly at all time if you're using an SSD. 
Um, this allows you to quickly switch weapons, armor pieces, and class perks on the fly. Um, this usually took a lot longer on console. It would take like a few seconds just to be able to load up your inventory, and then you actually had to switch, and then you had to go back to the game. And it was just, it was a really, it was a much longer process. So yeah, that is one advantage that being on PC is that you can definitely switch up your stuff like on the fly really quickly, just hide real quick, you know? Uh, another nice thing about PC is being able to utilize the text chat. Um, so there, there are a few different chats. There's the local chat, which just allows you to talk to anyone within your vicinity or in your instance of so you're the tower, local chat will go to everyone. Uh, there's fire team chat, which is only for the friends or, or people that join you and are in your fire team. Only they can see that it shows up as green. There's team chat and that goes to anyone. Like if you're in PVP or gambit or a strike, uh, it'll be blue text and that'll show up to anyone that's on your team. They don't need to actually be in your party. And then there's whispers, which means it's just like a private message between you and one other person. Uh, and you can utilize these things. It helped a lot in Last Wish to be able to like write down like Riven's eyes or like different call outs and you can keep track of it. Uh, so yeah, be sure to utilize the, uh, the text chat. Also quick little thing, and this one's pretty important is be sure to utilize the Destiny 2 PC LFG Discord. Um, it has around 150,000 people in it right now. Um, and you can use this Discord to like get teams for raids or whatever else you wanna play. Uh, you can find a link to the Discord. I'll put that in the description. Uh, so yeah, be sure to use that because Destiny is a game that is much better when you share it with other people and the raids are fantastic. So yeah, don't be scared. Definitely go check out the uh, the LFG Discord if you need help getting a fire team together. But anyways, guys, uh, best of luck out there. See you in PvP. And I hope this video helped you out. All right, peace out, guys.